Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing set 75345, the 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. First I'll be showing you the minifigures, then I'll go into the build, and then my overall thoughts. Let's get started. So starting off we have the Heavy Clone Trooper minifigure you actually get couple of these, there's two of them, got that print on the head there, comes with these visors, I like the straps on the torso there, then on the back it has the printed backpack, or not printed, the, it's printed on that tile there, pretty cool. Next up we got the um, the officer. I'm pretty sure this is based off of Battlefront, the game. Uh, he's got a blue printed belt on there, a printed cape. Lego hasn't made actual capes for clone troopers in a while. That's kind of disappointing. It's got the rangefinder, little pistol, and then blue belt on the back there. Next up, we got the specialist. It's just Pretty much a regular 501st Trooper, except it has blue arms and those little yellow markings there. Got the new rangefinder piece. You can slide over there. Lego could have gone a bit above and beyond here and put like a black stripe there. But I think it still looks nice. So now I will show you the build. Here's the build itself. I have a figure in here right now. He just clips in, or he doesn't really clip in, it's just that piece there that slides on there. Take him out of the way. There is a little clear thing on the bottom to kind of keep it stable. Uh, I got this turret that goes up and down. And then I think it's an AV7 cannon, sort of similar to the the battle pack with the arc trooper. It's got some movable legs that can move back and forth there. And then that part can move. It's also got a spring-loaded shooter there, if you wanted to. I think it just doesn't look good, so I just move it there, so. Now I'll show you the box. The box art on this one looks kind of nice. It's got the new stripe. Here's many figures. That has 119 pieces. Six plus. On the back here just shows a few features. It can go up and down here and then the spring loaded shooter. So this set is pretty good. Um, I don't really know why they made this one, I mean, they just made the uh, other 501st battle pack, I guess you would call it. I don't think it was ever officially called a battle pack, because, I mean, it's not like the $20 small box. It has, like, two big vehicles, but this is still nice to have some variation to your clone army if you don't have any accessories to, like, add on to them, so... Pretty good set all around, and I will see you in the next video.